This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News. We're at the 2012 Competitive Carrier Association Annual Show with Jim DC from Juniper Networks. Hi, Jim. Jim, thanks for joining us. Happy to join you. So tell us about the newest award you've won and, and what you're showcasing here at CCA. Yeah, the um, Carrier Easternet World Congress in Barcelona last week awarded our ACX line of access, universal access routers uh, the best mobile backhaul product of 2012. Uh, pretty stiff competition, the final um, the final four people were a CDN Overture and Cisco and we walked away with the prize. So the the router is a, a standard Junos router in the in the heritage of all the Juniper products, except this one has been hardened for cell sites. Right. So for instance it's fanless, so it has all cooling passive with these um, heat sinks. Um, it will operate between about minus 48 Fahrenheit and 150 Fahrenheit uh, non-condensing and the models change as you go because there's a combination of TDM ports and gigabit Ethernet ports so that as people want to flex their backhaul from TDM to Ethernet they don't have to jump off all at once they can go at their own pace and then most of the models will have a power over Ethernet port that will deliver 65 watts to each one a lot of mobile providers will run a uh, backhaul uh, a security camera or they might power a low power uh, microwave off of one of those Ethernet ports and then we have 10 gig fiber ports and those go in two and four depending on the model level that you buy to match your need but one of the unique things that we have is everybody has to worry about the timing on a backhaul circuit with ethernet the tdm circuits have their timing built in you've got to synchronize that timing with the ethernet so we have the timing servers that juniper will sell and this will be a timing client and these are the connectors that you would tie in there and this will become the client to, to sync to the master timing for the entire network of course, the timing is what keeps you from losing your call when you drive from cell tower to cell tower area. So it's a pretty key thing to having you know, good service and happy customers. Um, the, the entire throughput of this box is a, can be up to 60 gigabytes. So this is two or three times the nearest competitors, depending on uh, who you want to talk about. And there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of headroom in this. This is a full Junos router, so it's a layer three device. And part of what this is about is either transport service providers or cellular providers wanting to provide a layer three MPLS uh, circuit for their backhaul because that will allow them to engineer um, so that rather than have to, in the layer two ethernet, you have to pin up the, the, the fiber and dedicate it to that. So if you have residential traffic or if you have business traffic, you've isolated that bandwidth and you can't use it. With MPLS, you have traffic engineering where you can flex it back and forth, time of day, time of year, and allows the carrier a much more flexibility. Particularly the transport carriers that are not cellular operators, many of them probably already have business or residential traffic, and they're adding backhaul as an incremental revenue stream. This allows them to blend that and integrate that, actually integrates the wrong word, converge that into the stream of the rest of their traffic. So that's pretty much the uh, the heart of the, of the matter, and uh, these things have been shipping now for a couple of months, and we're building enough to keep up demand right now, but uh, we, we're, we're going to see that seesaw a little bit as we go forward. What are you hearing from the um, CCA members? Mostly good things. Um, I think that you would divide people in two groups. There's a group that are at layer two Ethernet, and they want to stay there. So they're not much interested in this. But the people who understand what MPLS can bring to them, or they have these other types of traffic, they want to hear the story and listen and, and make a judgment and see whether they think that'll help them. The one thing we have done for this that will help the CCA members is we have a series of management applications under what we call Juno Space. So if you want to activate your network, you want to provision customers for a service, you want to set up the synchronization at a certain cell tower, you can do this all from Windows applications that we have built. It takes a network expert to do a little bit of background work, but after that, a person with very little training can learn to provision and manage certain parts of the network very, very easily. Jim, congratulations. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Jim.